my god! Dude, it just came. It hit brain. me in the crotch. There's brain everywhere. Uh, you know what this one looks like? What? Uh, that one scientist, like yeah, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Yeah. So Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be answering a very important question: How deadly? is 8.6 blackout. If you're not familiar with 8.6 blackout, the best way we can describe it is how, Charlie? Uh, very, very slow, but very deadly. It's not something you want to encounter if you're out there cow tipping at a feminist rally. <laughs> so we have slugs that are over 350 grains. Go ahead and show them what that guy looks like. Boom. Oh yeah. That, and then post mortis. So there's been a lot of development at 8.6 since we did our initial video. So we're very excited to now test it on human ballistics. Now to be clear, it was typically used for larger game. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, large, like uh, mom's demand action rallies, very large game there. They're like water buffalo. Uh, precisely. So we're, we're excited to see what kind of results we're going to get on humans. And another great thing about 8.6 black is it is ridiculously quiet. Go ahead and oh. talk and say something. Yeah, anyway, so I was at this beet farm. <laughs> it is dummy quiet, dummy deadly, and a very interesting new round. So without further ado, let's get into it and start shooting this stuff. Yeah, let's go shoot some. So we have several different rounds that we're gonna be testing today for them. Uh, we have this one from Just Cause Solutions. It was sent to us from the guys at Q who make uh, the fix right here. Uh, as you can see, this one looks horrifically devastating. I'm actually very interested to see how this performs. So then we have gorilla ammunition. This is using a TSX round. This is 210 grains. I'm guessing that these rounds are meant to travel a little bit further. Then we have a 300 grain Sierra Match King round. Um, we'll see how those perform. Usually Sierra Match Kings do pretty well. And then finally, we have the Fort Scott munitions. That one just, <laughs> oh, that's a penetrator. Okay, that's not quite fair. That's going to be for very large game, um, but it, it'll still be cool to see, like, it's just going to pencil through the gel. So if you're, like, shooting, like, uh, like what? Like, size-wise? Yeah, like, what would oh, you shoot with that? I would say anyone who's, like, uh, donates to Act Blue. Before we get into the video, we're going to show you speeds. So we have Just Cause Solutions in here right now. Those are those wild looking rounds. We fired three rounds already with a standard deviation of one. So they seem to be fairly consistent. Let's go ahead and give it another round. Between 950 to 980, it looks like on our rounds. So as you can tell, that is below the speed of sound, which is 1100, which is why it is so quiet. So with all that being said, let's go ahead, let's check the gel. Let's see which round is gonna be deadliest to shoot into the dummy. But of course, before we get into it, we have to thank the biggest Sponsor of the channel who's whom? Stupid dummy legals. <laughs> the Sonoran Desert Institute. That's not Looking what my to notes get. Says. What is that? <laughs> the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, go and check them out. We love them very much. Isn't that right, Charlie? Yep. Taught me how to take apart my pistol. That. Charlie just did that on his own through YouTube. But go and check them out. They support all of our science, like what we're doing right here. And uh, they bring you free, vi free videos. So give them a lot of love. And of course, who can we not forget? Micah. Primary Arms. Which, and guess what we ooh, have right here. We go, the best LPVO there is. We uh, love this thing so much. Uh, they sell a lot more than just uh, optics. Go and check them out. Anything you could possibly want. And a big thank you to them. If you want to get better at shooting, what do you use, Charles? Yeah, you, you use this Mantis, right? You can use it in public places. No one's going to yell at you. You just throw it on your real gun and have at it. Use, use it in the somewhere safe and it will turn your gun into a dry fire machine. Dry fire is gonna make you a better shooter, so go and check out Mantis. And of course, AEC ammo. Now, to be clear, the ammunition today that we're using isn't made by AEC, but we love them very much. And oh, yeah. uh, with all that being said, let's get into it. So we have clear ballistic gelatin right here, and uh, we're not gonna give it to Charlie after. We're gonna fire each of the rounds through, see which one produces the most what results? I don't care. I wanted the Stephen Hawking one after. Devastating results, and then we'll be firing at Stephen Hawking right there. First up, Just Cause Solutions, 350 grain, ginormous hollow point. Colton, ready? Dude, oh. I don't think we've ever heard that from around before. I don't that like that at all. Good.
That was the deepest thud we've ever had right? without a oh, doubt. Oh, you remember when that lady dropped her kid at the... Uh, Micah, look at that, dude. This is the craziest wound tract I've ever seen in gel. So what we have to point out here is that due to the twist rate on the uh, 8.6 blackout, it's traveling at over half a million cubic feet, half a million rotations per minute. So it, it's it's a very fast spiraling projectile. And you can see that in the gel and it just traced it perfectly And that temporary cavity was just insane. That was wild. It's probably like one of the most unique the gel most, impact we've ever seen. And this thing got asked too. Again, it is made for a larger game, so this would continue to travel through. That's incredible performance. I think okay. I found it. No way. <laughs> Next up, we have Gorilla Ammunition. We love them very much. And this is a 210 grain Barnes TSX round. Let's go and see how this performs right here. Colton, you ready? Whoa, Holy shit. What just, that like exploded, that was- It zipped all the way to the other side. I'm not even kidding, that was terrifying. Yeah. That sounded, e holy shit, dude. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what is that, dude? Looks like a cool Look tribal at those, tattoo on a you see those, man. You see those fragments coming off? <laughs> Yeah, look at that, like little piece. Like, yeah, right there's there. three pieces that shredded off right there and it continued through. That was violent. Wow. TSX, what the hell? Okay, both are extremely violent. They're both, I, I would say so far it's the Barnes TSX. That was insane. Yeah, the Barnes is dropping, homeboys. Dude, so like the TSX and like a 5.56, remember how violent that was? Yeah. Then scale that up to 210 grains of just copper. And that that made like a little, it actually, it's actually the only time I've shot gel where I've been like, what the heck just happened? Because yeah, that made explosion like a, noise was. It was pretty loud. It was louder than the gunshot. So it was fire, thwap, and then like the combustion inside the wound cavity. What are we doing? We're firing about 200 right here and you're gonna see, well, 250. You're gonna see how long it takes for the round to reach the target, if I can actually hit it. Jesus. <laughs> it takes so long, dude. We have Gorilla Ammunition once more, firing a 300 grain Sierra Match King, which we love Sierra Match King, right, Micah? Yes. Let's see how it does with 300. I wish, I wish the viewers were here to, to hear. just hear the, the, the thwap. What did that do? It nicked the table on the way out. Oh, no way. That is the that is weirdest hard. fucking... Stop cussing. Sorry. It's like very uniform. I've never seen you almost like, like that. can't even see the uh, no. yeah, trail but, back here. That is bizarre. Right here, Look, like, top down view, Micah. We've never quite gotten as different results from different rounds from the same caliber as we have from 8.6. There are so many different projectile manufacturing methods and kind of designs that they have and they're all performing much differently from each other. I think that's what's very interesting. It seems to be a very versatile round. You can truly choose a round kind of tailored to the type of game that you're gonna be hitting. It is wild. It's kind of menacing, especially if you were like a, a doctor like myself. You don't like, oh, you got shot with eight, six. And well, one, you know, it's not gonna be in like Chicago or anything, but two, it's like, how do I treat this? How do you Which know it's round? not gonna be in Chicago? <laughs> Come on, that shit's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> this round is so sharp right here. So we have to thank Francis over at Last Shot for sending all of the 8.6 black ammo with the exception of the Just Cause. Um, very cool of him to send us this random and kind of rare ammunition, but this round right here, Fort Scott Munitions with the Tumble Upon Impact, it's really sharp and uh, I think it's just gonna pencil right through. I do too. But you know what? I've been really wrong about this ammunition before, so who knows? I wanna be clear, this is a solid, copper spun projectile, 285 grains, Fort Scott munitions, tumble upon impact. Ooh, that, Whoa. that just 
hit SpaceX. I'm sorry, Elon Musk. So this is really interesting. Just like the Sierra Match King, it made that really odd. I've never, it, it's the round tumbling as it goes through. It's well, just the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. It tumble upon impact works. And again, <laughs> it's, it's curved at the end, huh, Micah? Why are you saying that? That Fort Scott performed wonderful, to be clear. Um, this is a tough one for me. I think we'll use TSX and we'll also use Fort Scott. So we'll, we'll kind of alternate between the two on the dummy. Hey, stop touching it. There's a lot of questions about how we're gonna do the slow-mo on the dummy. So you're not gonna see a huge impact. What we're gonna see is a very large exit. So we're gonna be having the slow motion camera behind the dummy to see what happens as that round exits and how much junk it takes with it, what's gonna happen. Michael will be filming the front at just uh, slightly faster speeds, but I'm very interested to see what the exit wound tracks are gonna look like from the 8.6 black. So let's start shooting humans. We'll start with the brain. Another thing that we have to point out the TSX is that round is going super sonic. So that 210 grain is above the sound barrier. It's traveling at approximately 1900 feet per second, yes. which is fast for an 8.6 black. And as you can see, the results certainly speak for themselves. Love 8.6 blackout. First up, 210 grain TSX to where, Charlie? To its domicile. Its head. It's That's, head. I'd get brain from Stephen Hawking. On you. It hit brain. me in the crotch. There's brain everywhere. I don't think we've seen I've never that. Seen. That was more violent than a shotgun round to the face. And that was one single round from an 8.6 black. And to be clear, Mike has a semi-auto. That works <laughs> just as well. That's kind of, that's pretty cool. This is a, this should be like the, the go-to round for just dropping chesters. You know what I mean? It's a chester. Oh, it's a pedo? <laughs> Okay, next up, we're gonna fire a 210 grain TSX through the left chest. Is there gonna be any chest left after this, Micah? Uh, no. What are you doing, dude? Not today, Batman. <laughs> All right. Okay, go. That made the weirdest sound. That was weird. Is that that spiral round? Uh, no, it's just a TSX. TSX? Yeah. Right here, left chest. Oh, wow. Just straight zipped. Oh. That, that's not as like horrific as I would have thought, but that's pretty bad. That had a ton of carry through and the yeah. flowering and the pedaling is huge. off <laughs> all the blood from the brain. <laughs> that was wild. Did you hear that noise it made? Yeah. Okay, I've been trying. Wait, this is literally the best one I've ever put my finger in. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's use the uh, Fort Scott tumble upon impact. There is such a cavity inside, like it's effortless. My finger's not getting hurt or anything. It feels good. We have the Fort Scott munitions tumble upon impact, which was horrifically violent. This is a subsonic round. What do you think it's going to do, Micah? Zip straight through. Really? You think yeah. so? I think it's going to do. A I want to see that round versus a cinder block before we go home. Okay, done. Go ahead. Here's the initial impact. You can oh. see that wild spot. Is it bad? Look at it. That's weird. You could see that twist patterns that come out, came out. Look at the chunks of bone that it took with it. Oh yeah. That's I don't wild. know how well it translates to camera, but it's like a tornado inside. It's like a tornado twisting. Look at that. Look at all that shattered bone. No. Next up, we are going to try the Just Cause Solutions because you know what? We want to see what happens. We're going to be firing it through the gut. And Charles, what do you think is going to happen, buddy? Oh, it's blowing the back out. It's, not, it's, gonna not, it's messing them guts not up. Not the phrasing we were supposed to use. Yeah. I saw bone come out the that back. Did you see that? It sounded wet. My yeah, it sounded very wet. My favorite part is that you can see that round 
even from like an oblique angle just coming through and it, it nothing stopped that round it just came out taking vertebrae with it yeah very not good day oddly enough that's that's literally the exact same way stephen hawking ended up in a wheelchair he's trying to make some little guys do math and watch him and like they just didn't have it charles has discovered that the wound tract is yeah. uh, big enough for his finger so I can. This is this is odd compared to all the other rounds. I've I've done a lot of this. Does it have like a good again. texture on the inside? No, it kind of like it feels like, okay, you, you know, when she's seen it. other people. Next up, we're going to test carry through. So we have the Fort Scott munition, solid copper projectile. I think that has the best chance of making it through. And we have two cinder blocks right here to test penetration power, which is important. Why, Charles? Well. Because it really determines the long-term relationship of whatever you're going with. Four Scott munitions, two cinder blocks. Whoa. It didn't even make it through no. one. Oh, here's a slug. Look at that. Just expended all of its little energy. Failed the penetration. I think it's hot. This, By is, the way. this is the least most predictable round. <laughs> uh, do you want to try the TSX? Sure. Okay. Okay, we now have the TSX going supersonic. See if that has any more chance of making it through. Go ahead. Oh! No, just barely. You know what? Okay, the slug's got to be somewhere. Oh, there it is. The real question is, Will That's we ever bad. get a round that goes through both? You know, not even the uh, 338 would go through both, remember? No yeah. Way. Here you go, dude. Dude, that's gonna be hot. That's not, dude, I picked it up. <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> we have the semi auto. Who made this, Micah? That's a Faxon. Hey, I love this the thing. Faxon right here. Sentinel. So we're gonna be just dumping 20 rounds and uh, we're using Just Cause Solutions. See what it looks like. Hey, pretty good trigger finger, right, dude? That was really good, dude. Thank there you. goes $150. Well, this is what happens when you're uh, when you go to Epstein's Island. You oh, can't man. make this. Oh, sorry, my bad. Damn it. <laughs> hey, come look at the back. It shot its nipple out. Look. Oh, that is a nipple. That's a nipple. Look at that. How interesting. Yep. Science once again uh, giving us many wonderful mysteries to contemplate. Look at that. You can almost. How'd it feel? At a semi-auto. Oh, really great. Uh, recoil is pretty manageable. Less than a six-five. Kind of feels similar to a 6.5, to be honest. Look at that. Which is not much at all. You can literally... You want to bump fire this, Micah? Yeah, I kind of do. Here you go, buddy. It has to be pointed out how insane it is that there are semi-auto 8.6 rifles. It's, um... I love it. I like to see more development it's here. It's so satisfying. All right, go bump fire, dude. All I'm right, going to get out right, of the way. let's see. Let's see if I can even hit it. Do it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, I messed it up. Well, we've done a lot of testing on 8.6 Blackout, so let's talk about it. I think um, the thing that we need to point out is how different every round performed, but also how good every round performed. There's a lot of, I think, promise when it comes to 8.6 Black and the application it's good for. So when it comes to a super quiet uh, round with a really good BC, i.e. the ability of the round to carry through, I think 8.6 um, has a lot of merit. As a general all-around rifle, no, this is definitely a more specialized round. This is definitely a large game round, some type of urban sniper role, which it has been used that for, and it has been developed for. But you can see how effective this is. And I think what's really compelling is, if you ignore how creepy Charlie is, with a semi-auto, whether it be the Q, whether it be Faxon right there, you have a really good platform to deliver a lot of power really quickly. And I think that there's a lot to be said because if you imagine like having like a 25 rounder in that one, Micah. Yeah. So with the facts when we have mostly AR-10 DPMS components and we have an 8.6 and the best part, 8.6 is made for a short barrel. So 12 at most and they function extremely well. This is a really promising round. I'm really interested to see the applications that it ends up getting used for. What was your favorite round? Charles. Oh, it was the subsonic for sure. Which subsonic? Um, it was the, uh, what, what's uh, in the box? Michael, what was your favorite? So, you know, I was going to say the TSX, but I don't I don't feel like I, I can say TSX because it wasn't subsonic. I agree with you. So then I have to say the Just Cause. Yeah. I would say the Just Cause gave me the, uh, the biggest warm fuzzy as far as performance. Now, they all performed well. It's just the uh, Just Cause was 
such an interesting wound tract and just like, especially under the slow-mo, did you see the amount of damage it causes it went through? And then of course the smoke farts is, that's pretty much an indication of performance, right Micah? Yes. All, all in all, 8.6, really interesting. Can't wait to see what more is gonna come out of it. Guys, thank you for watching. Tons more ballistic tests, tons more reviews coming. Don't miss them. And as always guys, stay cool and dad advice with Charles. Oh, hi guys. I'm gonna touch on and expand upon what Asian Phil said is be nice to people. Uh, I disagree with being nice to the government workers, but uh, be nice to them. Just, just be a friendly person. But at the same time, you must realize that uh, communists aren't people. So those are not included in what I just said.